Now that we know what resistors are and the different type that exist, how do we recognize them on a board? How do we find out their values? And how do we combine them when values we need doesn't exist? Let's break it down. In circuit diagrams, resistors are shown with simple symbols. Sometimes they are drawn as a zigzag line. Sometimes as a small rectangle. Both mean the same thing. If the resistor is adjustable, you will see a diagonal arrow through the symbol. A rheostat has that arrow starting from one end and pointing towards the middle, showing it's made to control larger amount of current. A potentiometer and a trimmer have a symbol with arrow touching the middle of the resistor. The arrow shows the part that moves to change the resistance. Special resistors have their own variations. An LDR has small arrow of light pointing towards it. A thermistor has a small extra line or a curve across the symbol. A varistor is shown with curved lines at its end to show it protects against sudden voltage spikes. A strain gauge is drawn as a rectangle with tiny zigzag or arrows to show it reacts to stretching or bending. A magnetoresistor symbol adds two small arrows in opposite directions to show it responds to magnetic fields. These symbols tell you at a glance what kind of resistor is used in a circuit. The unit of resistance is ohm and it's written using this Greek symbol. A thousand ohm is called kilo ohm and a million ohm is called mega ohm. Real resistors are too small to write full numbers on, so they use color bands or small printed codes. Let's start with the color bands. Each color stands for a number. When you read them in order, you can find the value. The first two bands are the digits. The next band is multiplier, which tells you how many zeros to add. And the last band shows how accurate the resistor is, called tolerance. For example, let's take a resistor with these colors. Red, Violet, Yellow and Gold. Red is 2. Violet is 7. Yellow is 10,000 because it is the multiplier. So 27 multiplied by 10,000 gives you 270,000 ohms or 270 kilo ohms. The last band, Gold, means the value can vary by 5%. If there are 5 bands instead of 4, the first 3 bands are digits and the 4th band is multiplier. A 6th band if present tells you how the resistor changes with temperature. Here is the full color code chart showing the numbers, multipliers, tolerance and temperature ratings. Very small resistors called SMD resistors use number instead of colors. If you see 103 printed on, that means 10 followed by 3 zeros, which is 10,000 ohms. 472 means 47 followed by 2 zeros, which is 4,700 ohms. Sometimes you'll see an R in the code, like 4R7, that means 4.7 ohms. Apart from these values, resistors also have ratings. Tolerance tells you how close the actual value to the printed value. 1% is very accurate. 5% is very common. Power rating tells you how much heat the resistors can safely handle. Quarter watt, half watt, one watt or higher. The bigger the resistor, the more heat it can take. If you are unsure of the value, you can measure it with a multimeter. Set it to the resistance mode, touch the two leads to the resistor and the screen will show you the value directly in ohms. When you choose a resistor for a circuit, think about three things. The resistance value you need, the power rating so it does not overheat and the tolerance if accuracy matters. Resistors are made in standard steps called value series like E12 and E24. E12 means there are 12 standard values between 10 and 100 ohms. 10, 12, 15, 18, 22, 27, 33, 39, 47, 56, 68 and 82. E24 has 24 values in the same range, so it is more fine grain. That's why you may see 47 or 56 ohms, but usually not 50. 
if you need a value that is not made, you can create it by combining resistors. Sometimes you need a value that is not available as a single part. You can connect resistors in series or panel. In series, the value adds up. R equals R1 plus R2. This gives you larger total resistance. If you connect resistors in parallel, the opposite happens. The current splits between them and the total resistance becomes smaller than either one alone. The formula is 1 by R equals 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. This is also useful when you want resistors to share heat between them. By using series or parallel connections, you can make almost any resistance value your circuit requires. Symbols tells us what resistor is. Band sent code tells us its value. A multimeter confirms it. And combinations allows us to make almost any value we want. Understanding these markings and combinations turns a simple piece of hardware into a very precise tool. This knowledge is what makes a basic part into something that can be used with confidence in any circuit.